Amber's come out. Bearing in mind, I like Amber as well. Fat ass, big tits. I'm on that, right? She's come out and she's talking Violet. about. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to another Jump Off TV debate at Lost Hollis in Kentish Town. Today we've got Mim Shake, Young Kai, Chucky, and Rap Six here to chop it up and let us know whether ex fashion is ever appropriate in any situation. I get the fact that Amber Rose was asked a question and she went a little bit overboard with some of the things that she did say. A man's protecting his family, which he's supposed to do. Yeah, I don't feel like he went in as much as he, he could have done. That's what I'm but then I just feel like the whole Kim and Kanye thing is so boring. Like, why does it affect people so much? Mm. I just don't understand That's why culture Kim Kardashian boring. actually really affects people this much for everybody to all of a sudden jump on Amber's back and like, yeah, you attacked Kim and like, who gives a fuck? Like, really? Remember, there was, who a, gives a, there was a time where that wasn't that wasn't the case though. Everyone would be attacking Kim. Mm. It's just whoever's popular, you know, Kim, uh, Kanye is giving Kim some sort of validation oh, in what, yeah, and whatever she's doing. But just to take it back, uh, yeah, this is what I was gonna say. I wanted to get back to my point. Yeah, no, I wanted to get back to my point. Yeah, he was asked a question about some of the stuff that she that Amber had said quite recently. And he just, he just protected his family. He just said whatever it was that he needed to say. Mm. In a general perspective, I don't think that people should slander or say mm. anything negative about their ex anyway. I think you should tell the truth. I think if somebody says, oh, you know, what happened? Yeah, like so-and-so was sending naked mm. pictures or whatever it was. But the name calling mm. and the slandering yeah. and all of these type of things but. from Kanye, from Amber, mm. from um, Kim, mm. from us, mm. from her, from you, is dead. Yeah, I but think I think Kanye had, had the right to say anything that he wanted to say in that debate uh, about uh, about her. Like, we're, we're asking, is X bashing ever appropriate? My answer to that is probably no. But that, say in that situation, <laughs> I think he had all right to say I whatever said he wanted more. to say. Let I would have said more though. Real to talk, be a hypocrite, let me, let me, let me I would have said more. Right? I mean, I'm older than a lot of you lot in it. But my thing is this year, for me, I would have said a man just step back, let them chicks handle that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just let them real talk, on. man. Because you know we shouldn't be involved in all them kind of things there until it gets ultra personal. I disagree. If I was him, if I was him in a situation like that, I wouldn't talk about it publicly. But I'd call. Definitely I'd not call, publicly. I'd Definitely call and I'd say, look, like, can we just? I once loved you in it. Like we loved each other in that. Yeah, Let's kind of just me. leave. You know what I mean? Like, all right. it's, this is all. This is all petty now. I don't ever want to be in no situation around any girl. Or people that are that have like some mad slander about their exes or whatever. And just tell me the truth. I want to know the truth and paint a picture of that person without having to use some kind of slander. With celebrities, I get it. When you when you're being asked a question, I expect them to tell the truth. But at the same time, like calling somebody a whore and doing all of these type of things, I just feel like it's just a, it's it's boring and it's a bit dead. But just be honest though. As long as you're honest, that's just the main thing. But just the slander stuff, I think that's just a bit shit. To be fair. Reality TV stars, <laughs> yeah, and rappers. Their life is out there on albums. Their life is out there on TV. This is it for them. Do you get what I'm saying? So it ain't nothing for them to go onto a radio station and say something because they gonna say it in a tune or they're gonna see it on TV and their reality. So really, but, but, but that's my it's point. But that's for those my, types. But that's of my point. Like you can we speak about know. it. I want to know, and I like, as, as somebody who interviews artists as well, I want them to be 100% yeah, truthful. Yeah. But the slander, because they're upset. Because if yeah, I say something about yeah, you, if I say to you now, mm, you're, you're, you're a pussy, mm. you're going to say, oh, you're a pussy, you're back. Mm. Yeah, but that doesn't make it right, yeah, fam, yeah, that make it right, right. That you know how natural that is. Right, That's so yeah, normal. Right. They're so normal, though. That's human nature. If you don't like someone, you're going to go out and you're going to say no, you that don't. you don't like someone. You yeah, know, and that's fine. Though, Especially fine. in the media industry, the way that that American hip hop media industry runs is so big that they live off that stuff. TMZ media take out, they, people are You're missing my point, you're missing my point. It's okay to dislike. Mm. It's okay to not get on. It's okay to disagree about certain things. And it's okay to have an argument about certain stuff. But to slander. Mm. If I'm sitting around the table with a girl and I'm on a date, yeah, I don't, I wanna know, I might wanna know about her ex situation or certain things that happened. But, but if you sit and slander your yeah, ex to me, you're not oh, winning no thinking. brownie points to me, you know? No, we'll it's not funny yeah, and it's yeah, not yeah. like okay, yeah, yeah. humorous Sometimes to me. it's funny, no, no, was no. funny. Okay, but listen, listen, I didn't find, I didn't even yeah, find listen, listen, to me. There's one thing that we're doing, yeah? There's one thing that we're doing in terms of this celebrity thing what you're saying about the reality. As you're buying into that hype, it's not real, man. A lot of that stuff that they're portraying is not real from the albums on onwards. And if you believe in that, they've got to play that role still. If you start off that way, you've yeah. got to play that role. Yeah. I can't believe these guys are like that 24 7. I can't <laughs> believe that. Maybe 5%. Yeah. But now they've got this whole thing to live up to, yeah? yeah? 
And now they're out there, and now you put it out there, and everybody feels they've got an investment in that, and they've got a, 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 they can reply and get involved in your life, like you were saying, like, yeah. oh, how do you hurt my Kim? You're well, Kim. I'm, you're Kim. Like, really? Mm. I want. I want. What I, I want provoked? Yeah, but I want to add to what you're saying, yeah, <clears throat> and say. Basically, you're saying these people ain't like that all the time. Well, the way I feel about it is. The reason why these people are where they are is because more than likely they are like that. You know, like the normal person. Every day you wake up, you see normal people, and you're thinking, ah, oh, I wonder if they're like that. And we're making an assumption that, oh, they must be because we're all like that. And now I'm making the assumption that the fact that you are able to be a Kanye West must mean you are this person. No, not necessarily. Not no, necessarily. I, I so think you're, there's two I, assumptions. I, I, I'm I, taking I, the I, opposite I agree assumption. With Kanye. I agree with the Kanye thing because he probably is like that. Mm. But some people are great at understanding. Right, if I say yeah. something, all these people bite the bait. Thank you. So you know what? Play the I'm role. Every once something. in a while, I'm just going to give you a little yeah. something. I'm yeah. going to say a little something. Like everybody people out there, my life. And but sometimes, just, sometimes, people sometimes, like sometimes, the, sometimes the bearing in mind, I want everybody to understand this. I don't like Kim and I don't dislike her. But sometimes I do think that what she probably does is, you know what? Any little thing that I do, people bite the bait. So do you know what? I'm going to stand naked today does and that, I'm going to break the does internet. That, does and that everybody not, talks but about that does it. Not, every, don't I, does that not attain to your characteristics or your personality? I mean, some women wouldn't do that, even though they say, oh, I know if I could do this, there's some girls that know that if I sleep with this person, this person, I can get further in my career. Mm. But they still don't do it. Mm. And there's other girls that'll be like, you know, I'm not really a slag, but you know what, I'm gonna suck this dick today. No, you're, no, you're, See? I hear you. See, that but, person but, is like that. Yeah, you know, that <laughs> person ain't like no, that. No, but there's a, diff- <laughs> yeah, there's a difference, there's a difference between going out there and sucking a whole load of cocky every day, to be doing it once, to be doing it once, just for, to get a reaction out but of somebody. But there's some somebody. people that just wouldn't. Mm. And those are of the people course. that we're saying, oh, that's the generalistic or that's the normal people that we're, yeah, around. we're around. But the people that, the person that does something to, for you to bite the bait doesn't mean that they're like that on a regular basis. It just means that, no, it means hard, a, wait, wait, it, it means, means, that, it means that it means in their mindset, they have the ability to be a calculated person, but it doesn't mean that they are so much like that. But I can, I, I that's what I know. But you know what, but you know what, but I can, I can say, what I, you know what, I can say something, makes I can say, yeah, yeah, no, I can say something like slyly racist, just, for people to bite the bait. Yeah, but I'm not a racist person. But what, I might just do that. Because, you, I, might, because I might want the attention. I might then, want are, you, are, you, are you saying then, when before he went in, or you're saying that he'd he done that on purpose? He knew he was going to say something about. Oh, I'm not I had saying that. I'm saying he. Prote- I'm just saying he. I don't know. I'm just saying that he protected his family in that sense, and he did what a lot of people would have done, and some people would have been even worse and said even more stuff. But you know what? At the end of the day, that's that's on him, isn't it? If that's mm. what he wants to do, that's. You know what's enough. interesting though, yeah? Where what one, two, three, four dudes here? You're the only girl here. I want to know what you have to say about X bashing. Give me this. All right. <laughs> because. Okay. From a female's point of view. What from is it? female. From a female's point of view, I don't think it's ever appropriate. And for the man, for Kanye West to then get involved, to me, he looks a bit like a bitch, because he could have stayed out of it. He was. The, the whole time he was with Amber, we've seen all the pictures and all the tweets where everyone's saying he's smiling. Mm. Look at him now. He may pretend like he's happy, but he's actually using it in a bit. I think it's more of a business like mind he's going into and, and thinking it instead of actually. You think? Yeah, I, I do. Did you watch the interview? But, then, but the thing is that you I don't know them. That's the thing, we yeah. all pursue, assume that we know these people. Mm. He we, might we, just really we, like that we, pussy. You know he what? might really this, like, you know what? This he might watch that video and, and be like, like, you know what? what? Really like it. I need a piece of that. You had some <laughs> <can't marry> <laughs> probably would say the same. <laughs> like, you would say the same. Can I just say as well, yeah? Maybe he might have went into the situation <laughs> on the thing of right. This is a business, like the way that Tiger might be doing this yeah, little thing. Yeah, with Tiger. And the but way that they accused Jay Z and Beyonce, they accused that one. But, 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 but don't they? write this off. Don't write this what? off. Sometimes you might go into a situation trying to be calculated, and you know what? You might fall in love. Thank mm. you. It's yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. might actually really like that yeah. person because you know what? You're gonna sit down in in the hotel and you're gonna have some conversations that you probably wasn't expecting to have, and you actually might start liking them. And then the fact that so much people dislike them, you might actually gravitate to them even more mm. like i think that is calculated though come on man Kanye no, West is going to be with any what was interesting no what chucky just said what was interesting was that there was a, there was a four letter word there yeah love, love. yeah, yeah. now nah. if you're catching a link and you're doing these things with all these thirsty chicks and mm. guys running around the club and all that kind of, that's one thing you fall in love with this chick now 
yeah, and then it ends for whatever reason, there was love involved. So that's what I'm saying. This airing out stuff of all that stuff, it gets deeper then. Mm. Because now you're talking about other things. Mm, yeah. you're talking about a lot of other things that's now. No, I'm a little bit older and wiser than a lot of these people have been through a bit more still. But my thing is, I, personally, it's nothing to do with chivalry or, or manners. It's just like I don't believe in this whole airing your public business out on the street. I'm a kind of a private person. Um, there's a lot of things that happen when you're in love with somebody, you know, the intimacy and stuff like that. And if it all does go wrong, I just think social media is not the right place for you to be airing it out. And if one person, the opposite of other partner is, is doing that, and they're, they're airing and they're doing all that kind of stuff, and there's certain people in your life who are close to you believe in that sort of stuff, then my problem is those people who are supposed to know you believing in it. So I don't really feel I need to address it, unless it gets crazy like your bosses, like they're, they're coming to your work and stuff, and you know, standing in the lobby and, and, and airing stuff out there or, or putting up private pictures and stuff like, anyway, you guys are crazy for taking private pictures with your partner, don't trust me, because that stuff's going out there anyway. But anyway, the fact is about the whole airing out, I don't believe in all that stuff. Why, that's so important. That's why I think you just fall yeah, back. That's why that's so important because Amber Rose after was actually tweeted, which I think hit a lot of people was, yo, there was a point where we loved each other of course, and yeah. you're still saying those type of things. But, Come but on. Listen, that's Kanye West said something, yeah, which is very um, important what he said. He said, yo, love and hate is the same thing exact same emotion just mm -hmm. on different mm -hmm. polarities yeah, yeah. you understand what i mean yeah, yeah. now he said the opposite to love is not hate it's actually not caring mm. the fact that them lot have time for each other is because they used to love each other of course. are you a mm. punk are you, you a bitch do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, people who don't care about it we walk past people yeah, every yeah, day and we don't care yeah, it's like whatever. you know it's similar to when a guy is trying to talk to you and they just see you on the road and they're like oh what's going on and like can i get your number and you're like mm, nah and then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, you're ugly, didn't like you anyway, start calling you all these names. That is what I think the whole situation, all these people that want to bash their ex after the relationship has broken down, has turned into. And it's like, you know you don't really feel that way. Like, it's all an emotional response. So I think people should just keep it contained instead of just throwing it all out there. I don't personally feel Kanye was liked. I think it was a bit of a bitch move to then sit on breakfast club and be like, eh, hey, you know, I had to take 30 showers a day because what are you really trying to say? I don't think he's in a better position. Well, he's in a better position, but I don't think he's a better person for saying that because you were, you were doing the same thing with Amber Rose. So taking it elsewhere is, doesn't make no sense to me really. Just leave it out, just say nothing. That's that's a better option. The internet, yeah, especially for celeb celebrities, is a dangerous place mm. yeah. because yeah, we we're talking about celeb we're talking about relationship bashing and all of these type of things. Amber's come out, bearing in mind I like Amber as well, fat ass, big tits, I'm on that, right? She's come out and she's talking Biden. about yeah, Biden, kind of. <laughs> kind of. She's come out on a vibe of she's come out on a vibe of but you said about 30 showers, but you let Ray J nut on the Firstly, that yeah. was like eight years ago. And That's a long time ago. On. But she, oh, tweet, she sent a tweet out. She, she sent on, a man. tweet out on a thing of, um, not, hi Wiz Khalifa, on, happy Father's Day. Thanks for not putting your kids on my face that day. So it's like, it's all a little bit, mm. you know, when you're going to come out and slander somebody, you've got to be a bit careful. But about what you've done. So what, yeah. what have you so you're done? Friend you're friend not You're no, friend no. darts doing it. So when you're friend darts, yeah, you don't, don't, don't put that in that right, context. Yeah. Yeah. You're just friend. But she bit the bait. Friend. That's what it was. She bit the bait. All right. So she bit the bait now, now we spoke about celebrities, just to bring it back down to like something that the people that can relate to now, yeah? <laughs> Mim. <laughs> Yeah, you get into a relationship with a girl. Remember, yeah. it's, remember, you as a normal person, it's always yeah. going to start from your core, your friends and your family. And your girl says, you know what? Just imagine, yeah, it, it, it's, it's based on, the split is based on some sort of infidelity. Whether it be true or not, mm. it's believed to be true by one side of the party, mm. which is your girl. And she's like, you know, he's a prick. Mm. He's a prick. Trust me, I found text messages in his phone. And you're saying, nah, it's not like that. It weren't like that. Mm. I'll just speak it to on a normal vibe. Mm. Nah, nah, you can't do that. And it splits up mm. just because of the jealousy and that. Is it all right for regular people to slander each other in their, when the relationship is done, when it ends sour? Is it right Be honest, regular people? what would you... No, but let's but just say regular people, people, I real think, people. No. I think, say, okay, if that situation happens with normal people who aren't it's celebrities, you. yeah, it's you. yeah, all right, with me, if that happened with me, I'll be like, people are always gonna have something to say. People are always gonna say something to each other. So it's fine? Yeah, I think it's cool. You would put it on social media? Okay. On social media, yeah, what? Well, I'm an eye is a different thing because then your regular people 
they're not on social media that tough for people to be caring about them. So why is social media? No, 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 no. you have to remember, still... social media is for your social area. So a, a, a normal person is supposed to add and follow people, other celebrities. Remember, celebrities ain't following what they're saying. Mm. So the other people are like their mates and then their social groups. So you're talking about connecting with people that are not too close for you. Mm. So you can say something and you know, your friend in Manchester can know what you're doing. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Oh shit, did you see what men's girl said mm. on Twitter? Yeah, but you see my thing, my thing is, even if you're celebrities, like there's celebrities out there who you don't even know who their partner is. You don't even see any of these things. I, I, I want to go, I, I feel that direction is better. That. Because that's like, you're, that. you've got love for your partner and maybe they're not in the limelight as say you are. Like when do you hear anything about Pharrell and his girl? Listen. The whole stance of it was Kanye West could have, if he really, really, it's Kanye West you're talking about. There's a guy who shut down George Bush on national American TV. He could have said whatever he wanted to say about Amber Rose and made it more vile and made it more like outrageous in terms of what he said. I take 30 showers. I, it was a, it was a, I think it was a little light reference joke to be honest. Um, and that's my whole thing. I feel like he should have and he could have said a lot more things that were bad about Amber Rose because literally she's the one who's taking the piss out of his baby mother and his wife who's been Kim Kardashian. But another great thing that I didn't get to say in there is that Kanye West, Kanye West has obviously given birth to Amber Rose, which we all obviously know that's what everybody's been talking about, but he's actually done that for Kim Kardashian. Me and my friend Ali, we always debate about this, whether Kanye, would, would Kim be in a position that she is in now if it weren't for Kanye? She wouldn't be on Vogue. I don't think she'd be involved in Balmain. And that's a conversation that we always have and I wanted to share that as well. Anything you can think of in this in, in this life, yeah, there's a time for it and there's a conducive situation, even if it's ridiculous. So I believe, yeah, there's things that have happened to females. Just imagine, terrible things that their boyfriends have done to them. And at some point, they may want to speak out about it. You get what I'm saying? So when I mean terrible, I don't mean just rape and all them things. I mean like, he's cheated on you rema numerous amounts of times and you've been this good person. There's a difference and between then... speaking and slandering. No, so you because you might want to tell a next girl, yo, you see my man, he's a dickhead. And that's how you feel because you want to release that. I'm not saying it's right. No, no, no. I believe that ex bashing is appropriate depending on what someone has said about you. You know, you might want to defend yourself. And if you're defending yourself with the truth, then what's wrong with that? Someone says you're a dickhead, you did this, this and this in a relationship publicly. Publicly you might want to come back and say no, it didn't go down like this, but let me tell you something about that person which happens to be true, then you should do it. Obviously in a good, in a um, perfect world, you want to be able to hold your composure and just be like, you know, we'll deal with it offline. Boom! That doesn't make it, oh, lovely. Line me right up. Thank you, boss. I'm listening to this, yeah? And, I'm, and I, you guys are making some good points. My point is if you believe in equality, gender equality, then obviously nothing's at the table, everything should be equal, you can do what you want. But my thing is, when it comes to this personal relationship with people, mm. yeah, let's put this social media Two, two, barbecue sauce, boss. Yeah. This, this is bus. good, yeah. bro, this is looking good. Thanks. Let's put this whole social media thing into context, yeah? yeah? Before all of that, yeah, would you be calling 5,000 people around your house to discuss your ex? You don't know 5,000 people, but if you're on Facebook, you're likely to have 3, 4,000 friends. there's certain gal out here that's like Twitter fam. You tell them <laughs> they done told 5,000 people. You know who to tell. You be like, yo, see my girl, yeah? She's slagged, you know, she was fucking... Who is it? No, but real talk. No, 5,000. Right, Word of mouth is powerful. Yeah, but I feel you saying, but the point that I'm trying to make is that, that, that social media thing is put the whole thing out of context. Yes, yeah. Matt. So, my thing is, yeah, I've been in a situation, so you've got somebody who feels a certain type of way about the whole thing ending, yeah? And they're gonna do that whole thing, blast up on the Facebook or whatever. You know what, it's that dignified silence. I, I respect that, you know what I mean? But there's a line. Yeah. Yeah, it can get to a point where sometimes this stuff, this slander could go into defamation. This can go into real territory. It happens in so real Me say, personally, can I just be me personally, well? one second, me personally, I pick up the phone and I call certain people, like, especially I'm reading things on Facebook, I think, you know what? You lot know me still, and this is kind of rubbish. I'm not going to be up on the social media doing that. That's just me, personally. But I, I, the thing is, I'm going to be clear. As a youngster, I would be. That's something that I would do as a youngster. But as a grown-up, it's not something that I'm, I would adapt in my life to be out there slandering anyone. I'm just going to just not say nothing. You know, someone, said, sure, someone, someone said earlier that you don't know what's happened between Kanye and Amber, yeah, right? Yeah. And she tweeted something which was, yo, I still know your secrets. So I don't know why you're airing me out like that when I still it. know he stuff. Likes it in the bum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's deeper than that. But she, no, she got deeper than that. Now, but, now, but you see, <laughs> secrets. We don't never know 
those crazy secrets. They're talking about, ah, oh, I had 30 washes before, and no, no, no. Yeah, they're slandering each other, but they're not saying, ah, oh, do you know what Kanye West does? He sniffs cocaine on a regular. Yeah. Like they're not I mean, really like, getting into those things plug. that will destroy their destroy their. Um, yeah, but if it doesn't stop, it could get to those. those it places. could get to that, That's but it's point. like in a relation, a, 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 a troublesome relationship. Sometimes it might get to physical harm to one another. Yeah, but and we're saying in an ideal world, Thank you in a relationship, you would like to speak for everything. Oh, why did you do that, honey? Oh, I don't know why. Yeah, why yeah, did you do course. that, husband? Yeah. But I'm saying in reality, I'm not saying that, but yeah. No, but I'm saying in the ideal world, we'd yeah. like everybody to be respectful and yeah, think yeah, about yeah. what they do. Come on, there's there's, morals, there's a time to get ignorant. But there's morals though. I mean, come on. Right, let me. Let me, let me <laughs> so, um, Kanye might like a butt plug. You look, this is a lot of men on the table. Female I think everyone, everyone's been very hard and like, no, like, you shouldn't team, do it. But I think there's a time and like, especially for women, they will get emotional. And you will be like, nah, I don't like what he did to me all, you know, I wasn't feeling it the whole time I was here in this relationship and he did this and this, that, the other. And you will have your little talk. Even Nicki Minaj the other day when she was saying Safari was corny and look how long they was together for 12 long years. And she was just in her feelings and having her moment. So I don't think we can judge it like that and mm. just say, well, I don't think everyone should just, you know, be tight lipped and just leave it like that. No, 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 no female no, power. Can I, say, can I just say, the way that I'm saying that I would deal with a situation, I'm saying that everybody should be like that. And I'm not Person. saying that my, but I'm not saying that my buttons can't be pushed, but the slander stuff, I'm just not really in it. Not on I'm going to tell the truth. That. I'm going to tell the truth not on that. because that shit, more time is more powerful than anything. You yeah, sit there and call me names, are mm. oh, you this? He looks like that, whatever, innit? You loved me to bits, mm. B. And when we <laughs> were sleeping together, when we were sleeping it. together, you loved it. Loved Every it. inch of that. Loved it. Strong. 